Hello and welcome to this Species Sunday video. Um, in this video we're going to be talking about the very popular Cardinal Tetra, uh, to which the Latin name is Parashyridon axelrodi, or axelrodi, depending on how you want to say it really. So the pronunciation is Parashyridon axelrodi roddy or road eye um people from different places of the world say it differently i say axel roadie but some of you might say axel rod eye or whatever so uh it's part of the Karasim family which is a family that contains all of your tetra species so for instance your neon tetra your black neon tetra even up to your red belly piranha and paku all part of the same family so it is quite a, a large and diverse family um, from South America. Now the Cardinal Tetra um, in itself is native to the Upper Orinoco and Rio Negro rivers, which, as I said, just are in South America. They don't get very big um, compared to some of their other family members, but they still reach to about three centimeters in size. They look absolutely awesome in a large uh, group since they're a shoaling fish. As you can see in the video, they are quite grouped together. And it just looks absolutely fantastic. If you've got like a three, four hundred litre tank and you've got like a hundred plus of these guys, it really, really does stand out. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's a very popular aquarium fish. I'd be very surprised if anyone anyone was to comment below and say they can't find them and actually be serious. Um, a lot of people get these confused for Neon Tetras since they do look similar. But the main difference between these and Neon Tetras is if you look at the video um, and you pick out one of the fish, see how the red stripe runs from underneath the chin of the fish all the way down to the tail and then go and look at a picture a good picture of a neon tetra you'll see that this red stripe breaks off halfway through so that's one way of telling also the body shape of a neon tetra is very uh, slightly different it's not a huge difference and the cardinal tetras get to a bigger size too from my experience um, there are reports of it being bred. Uh, in fact, I've got a friend uh, that's bred quite a lot of these. It's not easy um, to breed them, but it can certainly be done. I'm not going to go into any breeding um, in this video since it will go on far too long. Um, and I'm just wanting to give a, a brief profile of the fish, really. Uh, so we've covered names, sizes, distribution and the habitat. The South America, so it's soft and acidic um heavily um tanning stains from all the overhanging leaf litter now the general typical values uh specifically of the rio negro normally between five and a half to six and a half on the ph uh, and also very acidic right so minimum tank size you're going to want to go uh, for a, a two by one foot aquarium, uh, bare minimum. But if you really want to get a good size shoal and make these fish stand out, go as big as you can. Heavily planted aquarium, they do very well with discus. Um, since they're not overly boisterous, so they're not going to scare the discus off. Water parameters. Keep your temperature between 23 and 29 degrees Celsius um, and your pH, you want that anywhere really between 5.5 and 7.5. Um, but if you're going out and you're buying yourself some wild cardinals, the lower the pH, the better. Obviously, the water needs to be soft and in terms of food, they'll eat absolutely anything that you give them really. Um, in the wild, they're omnivorous. Uh, so they'll likely be feeding on um, small invertebrates, crustaceans like Daphnia and things. 
uh, filamentous algae, which is growing uh, on the banks of the rivers, fallen fruits from uh, overhanging trees and, and stuff like that. But in your aquarium, um, any good tropical fish flake food, um, any micro pellets, uh, small frozen bloodworm, frozen Daphnia, live Daphnia, live Grindle worm, stuff like that really. Um, try and incorporate some live foods in the diet since it'll help keep the colours popping. One thing or one way of knowing that if your cardinals are stressed from my own appearance is again the red stripe. The red stripe goes really pale when there's something not quite with the uh, bleh, quite right with the tank from my experience. So that's something to look out for if you're not too sure. Um sexual dysmorphism or how to sex them it's quite easy really uh, females are generally larger um, and more fuller bodied uh, and if you've got females in condition you will you know that the belly of the female is, is really prominent and round so it's quite tricky to miss really uh, as i said they're a shoaling fish so you want a bare minimum of 10 really if it was up to me i'd be saying the bare minimum of 25 plus but um across the board on many different websites i've used to research the fish tens about the reasonable average amount so with that being said um i think that just about um covers this species sunday of the cardinal tetra before i run out of video footage so thank you all very much for watching as always stay sexy out there and I'll see you in another video soon. Ta-da!